Let's talk about the collection of ancient Chinese bronzes. The Sakamoto Collection, on display at the Nara National Museum's Bronze Gallery. We invite you to come and see the actual artifacts at the Nara Museum. The Sakamoto Collection is a collection of over 380 ancient Chinese bronzes donated by Mr. Gore Sakamoto, 1923-2016. The first president of the antique store Fugendi and a renowned collector of antique art. This donation consists of bronze vessels and musical instruments primarily from the Shang and Han period 17th century BC to the 3rd century AD, which Mr. Sakamoto passionately collected throughout his life. It includes not only containers and instruments, but also weapons, chariots and horse harnesses, agricultural tools, and writing utensils, among others. We encourage you to visit the Nara Museum and witness this remarkable collection firsthand. Bronze vessels played a significant role in ancient Chinese civilization during the Shang Dynasty. Ritual bronzes known as Yi were primarily used as vessels for ancestral worship in ancestral temples and were highly regarded as ceremonial utensils. As the Zhou Dynasty emerged, ancestral worship declined, and the emphasis shifted to the number of ritual vessels owned as symbols of social hierarchy. The Sakamoto Collection includes bronze ritual vessels known as Yi spanning from the early Shang Dynasty to the Qin and Han Dynasties, and it contains numerous artistically excellent pieces. These artifacts showcase a wide range of patterns and decorations, contributing to the study and understanding of ancient Chinese bronzes. The Sakamoto Collection is highly esteemed for its valuable holdings and has been made accessible to numerous individuals for exhibition and research purposes. This collection serves as a valuable resource for those interested in ancient Chinese civilization and bronze culture. Bronze vessels from the Chinese Shang and Zhou dynasties, 16th century BC to 56 BC, played a crucial role in the ancient Chinese civilization. The Shang and Zhou periods witnessed the pinnacle of China's bronze culture, marked by the flourishing development of sculpting techniques and the creation of exceptional craftsmanship. Bronze vessels from the Shang Dynasty 16th century BC to 11th century BC are primarily known as Yi vessels. Yi vessels were used as ritual implements in ancestral temple ceremonies to worship ancestral gods, fulfilling the role of ceremonial vessels. These vessels held significant importance in rituals, and their shapes and decorations were considered to represent the meaning of the ceremonies and the social status of the participants. As the Zhou Dynasty, 11th century BC to 56 BC, began, the importance of ancestral worship declined, and there was a stronger emphasis on the significance of ritual vessels for nobles and feudal lords. Bronze vessels from the Zhou period exhibited diverse shapes and decorations, serving as symbolic representations of social status and position. Additionally, there was a thriving production of bronze instruments and weapons associated with rituals and warfare. The bronze vessels from the Shang and Zhou dynasties are highly regarded worldwide for their technical mastery and artistic expression, with advancements in sculpting and casting techniques. Intricate patterns and carvings were applied to bronze vessels. These bronze artifacts were used as part of religious and social rituals in ancient Chinese society, reflecting the cultural and belief systems of that time. They stand as exceptional examples of craftsmanship and serve as significant cultural artifacts. The bronze vessels from the Shang and Zhou dynasties receive high acclaim in the antique market and museums due to their beauty and significant historical and cultural value. These bronze artifacts are recognized as a heritage of ancient Chinese civilization serving as subjects of study and admiration. Their artistic value and cultural significance are widely acknowledged and appreciated. The bronze vessels from the Shang and Zhou dynasties are highly esteemed in the antique market and museums due to their beauty, historical significance, and cultural value. These bronze artifacts are regarded as a precious heritage of ancient Chinese civilization, attracting attention for research and appreciation. Their artistic worth and cultural meaning are widely recognized and appreciated. The Kinmen inscriptions found on ancient Chinese bronzes 
are inscriptions carved onto the surfaces of bronze vessels and other objects. They hold a significant position in the development and evolution of Chinese script. Kinmen inscriptions were predominantly used during the spring and autumn period and the Warring States period, spanning from the 14th century BC to the 3rd century BC. Kinmen inscriptions exhibit a distinct characteristic of linear and angular shapes, often accompanied by elaborate decorations. This is related to the fact that bronze vessels bearing Kinmen inscriptions were frequently used in lavish rituals and funerals. The inclusion of decorative elements in the form and arrangement of the characters enhance their aesthetic value, highlighting the artistic significance of oracle bone inscriptions. Kinmen inscriptions exhibit various styles and scripts, ranging from early to late periods. The early Kinmen inscriptions are referred to as seal script and feature straight and orderly character forms. However, the late Kinmen inscriptions became more curved and elegant, laying the foundation for the later development of regular script and running script styles. Oracle bone inscriptions were primarily used as religious rituals and symbols of royal authority. The inscriptions carved onto bronze vessels held sacred meanings and were utilized as part of ceremonies for worship and prayer. Additionally, oracle bone inscriptions were employed for historical records, royal decrees, and the transmission of cultural values. The study of oracle bone inscriptions holds a significant position in the fields of Chinese philology and ancient history through the decipherment and analysis of oracle bone inscriptions. Our understanding of ancient Chinese society, culture, and language has deepened. Moreover, valuable insights into the development and evolution of Chinese script have been obtained regarding bronzeware manufacturing methods. Bronzeware during the commercial Zhou period was manufactured using an alloy called bronze, a combination of copper and tin. I will now talk about the general steps of the manufacturing method of bronze ware during the commercial Zhou period. Material selection. Select copper and tin of suitable quality for manufacturing. Copper was mainly obtained by smelting copper ore. Adjusting the ratio of copper and tin, the properties and quality of bronze depend on the ratio of copper and tin. Makers adjusted the ratio of copper and tin to match the desired alloy properties. Casting. Casting is the main manufacturing method in which an alloy of copper and tin is melted and poured into a mold to create a shape. Clay molds and stone molds were used for casting, and the molds were sometimes decorated with detailed carvings and patterns. Cooling and finishing. Cast bronzeware is removed after cooling and solidification after that. Sanding and polishing are performed to even out the unevenness of the surface and the details and decorations are adjusted. Engraving and decoration. Bronzeware was commonly carved and decorated. Sculptures mainly used gold patterns, patterns of animals and plants, and mythological scenes, and required skill and detail. Finishing and decoration. Bronzeware may be further decorated during the finishing process, such as painting, gilding, or inlaid with gemstones. This enhanced the beauty and luxury of bronzeware. Bronzeware production during the commercial period required advanced technology and skilled craftsmanship. Improvements in casting and engraving techniques have resulted in the production of delicate and intricate bronzeware, which speaks to the wealth and prosperity of the society and culture of the time. The decoration of the bronzeware in the Shangzhou period is very gorgeous, characterized by fine craftsmanship and beauty. Here are some common decorations on bronzeware from the Shangzhou period. Kinmen is the decoration of characters engraved on bronzeware. Seal script characters were used for gold text and were used for rituals, records, and symbols of royal authority. Gold patterns were carved on the surface of bronzeware as uneven patterns, giving them a luxurious and ceremonial meaning. Two animal and plant designs. Bronzeware often used animal and plant designs. Designs of mythical creatures, such as dragons and phoenixes, were particularly popular and were used to express strength and dignity. 
Plant flowers and leaf patterns were also used as decorations to express the beauty of nature. 3. Concavo convex carving, the surface of the bronzeware, was sometimes carved with fine concavo convex carvings. Fine patterns and decorative patterns were carved into them, giving the bronzeware a three-dimensional effect and detailed beauty. Improvements in engraving technology have allowed more intricate patterns and details to be expressed. For inlaying, inlaying is the technique of embedding gemstones, shells, or colored materials into the surface of a bronzeware. The uneven parts of the bronzeware are combined with precious materials to express luxury and wealth. Gemstones and colored materials produced vivid colors and luster in contrast to the bronze surface. 5. Coloring. Bronzeware was sometimes colored. Coloring is a method of drawing pictures, patterns, and decorations on the surface of bronzeware, mainly using pigments and mineral powders. Coloring made the decoration of the bronzeware even more vivid and enhanced the visual effect. Period was an important element in expressing social status, prestige, and religious meaning. The extravagance and precision of the decorations were valued as symbols of royal power and the wealth and power of the upper class at the time. In addition, the decoration enhanced the aesthetic value of bronzeware and had a great influence on the art and culture of later generations. The decline of bronzeware during the commercial period was caused by multiple factors. Here are some of the main factors. The spread of ironware from the late commercial Zhou period to the spring and autumn and boring states period. The technology of ironware manufacturing progressed, and ironware began to replace bronzeware. Ironware had the advantages of being more durable and less expensive to manufacture than bronze. In addition, ironware became widely popular among the general public, and demand increased as a more practical tool and weapon than bronzeware. As a result, the demand for bronzeware declined, contributing to its decline. Environmental change at the end of the commercial cycle. Environmental change and climate change occurred, in particular. It had a great impact on society and the economy, such as the invasion of surrounding nomadic peoples and the reduction of pastures due to the expansion of grasslands. As a result, the resources and technical support necessary for the production of bronze were decreased, and it is believed that this led to its decline. Bronzeware of the commercial Zhou period was an important element of the society and culture of the time and was made with advanced technology and artistry. However, it declined due to factors such as social and political changes, the spread of new technologies, and changes in the environment. After that, ironware became mainstream and the production of bronzeware declined.